So yeah, uh, welcome guys mm, On the next video on my channel, and as you can see in the title I, I'm probably I'm fucking stupid, but I want to do this dude I want to do this I'm not going to stream this level, you won't see this, you won't see my, you won't see me streaming this level because I want to keep this on my own, like this project that you can see right now on this video, but I'm doing Killbot. <laughs> I'm doing Killbot for the, again, for the May, for the May, because May in GD is memory month, so I'm doing Killbot, another level. Killbot. I got already 16%, I did that in the past. Uh, <laughs> I've learned some parts on this level and this is fucking hard, dude. This level is genuinely fucking very hard, overall. This is not... This level is not like 100% once you will memorize this, that's this, like once you will do some runs and you will know ev how to do every click, like you will memorize every part, it, it won't get super easy, you know. It, this, the, this level is still very hard, overall. I got some, I got two copies here, I got 2000 on this copy, normal, and on this copy I got 2700 attempts, so that's over, that's like 4700, and here on the normal level I've got like 1640, so man, I, I got actually a lot of attempts, but I've practiced the level, I will be going through the practice mode, and, and yeah, I will show you some parts and bits, and then I will be just practicing and learning the level, doing some great runs and try to do something on normal mode overall, so let's just go. If I have to be completely honest with you, I didn't practice the beginning, so now I will be playing... So now uh, I don't know how to do the beginning at all, because I forgot how to do the beginning, but I know I will be practicing beginning once I will understand every part of, on the drop, you know? But I know something from the beginning, because I did in the past 16%, so I'm not totally fresh with this level, you know? As you can see, like, the first ball is actually very easy. The first ball is, like, almost free one. The show starts at the spider, maybe spider will get consistent, but I remember getting 16% was kinda hard because of this spider, you know? I remember that this spider was kinda hard <laughs> for me. I don't know if that was just me, but that that wasn't easy at all. Like this spider was wasn't an easy part. Cool. So we got the drop already, and now the show starts at the drop and the beauty of this level. So as you can see I know how to do some parts and bits. But I'm not super consistent on them. I will be going on the slower speed to show you what I'm doing. I'm pressing this blue, uh, this uh, two green orbs. So I'm doing like one, two. Then pressing this one, green orb jumping out of the block. So one, two. So one, two. Blue orb, pink orb jumping out of the block. Then there is a first real hard timing because you have to time this blue orb to get into this block. So one, two, one, two, three, four, one, one, two. Then I'm going to this robot portal or whatever. Uh, yeah, this is robot portal. Pressing the button two times. Pressing this, this, one, two, really quickly. Off there is an off screen or but it doesn't matter. This is memory level, so it doesn't matter. One, two, one, two. Then I have to wait and then just spam like that and now we are getting to the second part of this drop so I, w I want to do this in one run to this part you know this shouldn't be too hard overall so let's let's just do it like that i did that very quickly now this part i it's this part for me is a little bit easier, I'm just jumping from this block, doing a small jump, pressing this green orb, pressing black orb, and I'm keep holding the dash orb, so... So, green orb, black orb, dash orb, jumping out of this block, pressing this blue orb, like that, jumping, pressing one, two, going up and down, pressing these two orbs, going up, pressing this orb in this portal, jumping one, two, three, one, two, three. So this part seems a little bit easier for me, so I will just go through this part in one run, as I did in the previous part. So let's just go. 
One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Like that. That was actually way easier than the first part. So now I did like 70 or 80. I did 70% of the memory in this level actually. Doing these two parts is very hard to learn, dude. I thought, at the, because that's the, second, that's the second day when I'm playing Killbot, I thought on the first day I won't be able to learn this actually. I thought I won't do this, but now today I sit down, I've practiced this a little bit and I got much more consistent than I was yesterday. I just have to sleep and memorize, you know, save this save this memorization that I've learned on the first day to, can, to be able to do this on the second day. Now the level gets easier for a little bit. This part is easier, you're just pressing like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, and then pressing two time, uh, four times and then two times. This part is easier, it gets very consistent, but again, it took me a long time to learn how to do this. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So this part is actually way easier. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. This part is kinda challenging, especially this swing copter over here. That's, overall, that's kinda tight, you know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 1. Then you have to press the button immediately there in this portal. And then once you'll press this, you just start mashing. So, boom, and start mashing. Like that. This wave is not that bad. But it's flashing and you can't see your wave like uh, at every time. So, it's kind of challenging, but not like, it's not something hard. You just look at the... At the wave, ball, you, you don't have to look at the ball, I just look at the wave and everything is fine, you know? Like that. This part is easy, again, you just look at your wave and boom. And we are getting to the part that now the memory again comes back for a little bit, but yeah. Because with, uh, with hitboxes, when I can see hitboxes, look, it's not like super hard for me, but Without hitboxes, it's actually way harder. I will be practicing this part a lot because I know this part. Once you'll memorize and get the hang of it, it will be very, very easy overall. I shouldn't die there on normal mode. I, I can die to this mm, to this part that I'm getting right now. I can die to this part, but it's actually way easier to die there than in the previous part. But yeah, oh. Okay, let's just try to do this part in one run, you know? Kiss this one. So, as you can see, without hitboxes... Okay, I did that, but I'm having much harder time with, without hitboxes than with hitboxes. Then I'm doing... Then this part is at the beginning is easy and then you have to do some timing because you are doing like... Waiting a little bit and buffering the button three times, so like buffer, buffer, buffer. Then you have to time this fourth to go between the cogwheel and block, so buffer, buffer, buffer time to go between this. It's kind of hard timing overall. And then you just, then you just have to memorize. There is like no reason that I have to say how to do this because you won't understand how to do this overall. But yeah, and we are getting to the last part, like, this ship is very hard. <laughs> I almost, I just almost did that, you know, but this ship is very hard, I will be, I will die there a few times on normal, like, the beginning is not super hard, the show starts in the middle and on the last part. Because this part is, like, not super hard, the show starts... I will show you uh, when. Boom, boom. The show starts now because you are pressing this one. And especially the hardest part is the last, the green orb at the last part and this blue orb. This green orb, wait, this green orb is so hard, dude. That's like the hardest thing in this ship part. And we are getting to the, the hardest part on the level. This UFO is impossibly hard overall. Uh, with hitboxes I can do this, but without I can't. So I will be learning this a lot, UFO, the click pattern. I can do this with hitboxes, but without I can't. But this is still going to take me a while to do this UFO in one run, you know? Even with hitboxes at this moment. So 
So as you can see I just did that and there is a small spike that I just have to jump over it. So that's Killbot dude, I love this level. The, this, this, this is definitely the best extreme that I'm doing so far, this is even better than 8 Like, if we'll go to my extreme demons completed, I've got 21 of them. I did quite a, a lot, like, I did a lot of extremes, I got 3 pages and... This is definitely the best level, the best extreme that I'm doing so far because I love Killbot, I always wanted to do Killbot if, some, if someone is watching me for a while probably know that I want that I wanted to do Killbot at some point and now the again as I say May which is memory month it's perfect time to do this so yeah <laughs> this, is, this is even better than Ido X which I love by the way so yeah I will be learning this and show you some pra normal mode once I will memorize the beginning and some parts on the drop again. So yeah, see ya then. Twenty-four, dude. This this spam is so annoying, dude. I can't do this spam. Why? Ah, 30, cool. Progress, dude, that's so satisfying overall. I was just getting a little bit mad because I just didn't understand how sometimes I was dying at the first part of the drop. I mean, I died to a not that hard part, but 30%, let's go, dude. I would love to be able, I'ma show you, I would love to be able to, I would love to be able get, to get to, I will show you which part. That would be awesome if I could get To this part, like to this cry, to this dual wave and UFO. And I'm definitely going to die there. Fuck, dude. Oh, that's so hard, dude. I can't believe how hard this is, actually. This level feels way harder than like 117 on the demon list, but this can be just me being bad at memorization. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> 46 on the second day, dude. I'm I, I I'm so happy, dude. 46. Holy shit! Holy shit! 74! I'm fucking destroying this level! Oh, I went down a little bit too fast, I could get to the ship. Oh, dude, 82, I got to the last ship. This ship is so hard and then the hardest part, which is UFO. I'm so happy I got today to the ship, dude. I Today I was playing at the beginning really poorly, but then I got good consistency, dude. Fine, 82, I'm definitely taking that. Holy shit. No, dude, why? Why? I got second time to the ship. Fuck! Why? 82 times 2, dude. I'm getting so unlucky with this level. That's not good. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. 92. <laughs> so close. This UFO is silent. Finally!
93, dude. Oh my god. So close. I, I didn't even press any button, dude. This UFO is fucking impossible. Nice. The last UFO is impossible. Ninety one. I love this UFO, dude. This is so much fun to play and dying here over and over and over. Okay, ninety again. I at least I got to the UFO. I can die at this UFO like twenty more times. Fine. I just want to die at this UFO, not to this fucking ship, please. Nice. Eighty nine. Cool. We got to the UFO again. That's the point of this level. 92. Okay. That's like, I don't know, f third time or fourth time to this 92. Okay. Oh, I've pressed the button too late. Seriously? 90. Okay. Oh, that came up from nowhere, actually. We beat Killbot. <claps> New Hardest, cool. Nice, good stuff. Thank you. Dude, this level is so cool. It's totally unstressful. I'm not even a little bit stressed. I'm less stressed than I was on fucking Biohazard, for example. But that's because of... It's because of that I died to this last UFO like, I don't know, 20 times to this last ship so many times. I wasn't even stressed. I was just having fun and laughing at me what I was just doing at the ending of this level. Cool! Dude, this level is a masterpiece. This is masterpiece of a level. Now, like, at this moment, um, currently this is sitting on the demon list. Like, it's, it's something like 117, if I'm not... If I'm correct, I guess this is 117, so cool, new hardest, and I will, I, st I will keep on the, I will be still on the extended list, because in the two days, like 17th of the May, there will be going on the list, new demon called Quantum Dynamics, and this demon will, will kick out the base cave out of the extended list into the legacy list, so, but now I did this level, fifth, uh, it's like, 15, 15 of May, so I will still be on the extended list. Cool. Oh, dude, this level is a masterpiece. There are just a few annoying parts and bits, but overall, I love this level. I love this level to death. This is the level that I've always wanted to do. I'm not going to tell the whole story how I came up and do this level and how how I looked at this level when I was not that good in the game, I will, if someone is interested, I will write this in the description of the video, but yeah, killbot, dude, cool. Just a few annoying choke points, as I said, this level has got like few annoying choke points, for example, I'm not a huge fan of dual, like UFO and wave, so I was dying there quite a lot of times, 
I don't know why, but that's just me being bad. I died so many times to the waves. To the wave at 50% and the next wave at 56 or 7%. That I guess that's it. Like the two waves. That uh, you just have to look at the wave. The cube and the ball is doing... You don't have to pay attention to the ball or the cube. You just pay attention to only to the wave. But these waves were so fast. They were like flashing. You couldn't see your wave every time and the corner was really tight and there were spikes in the corner so dude that was kind of tight for me i died there so many times and of course the ending is like silent difficulty before the slaughterhouse and crazy stuff like slaughterhouse truth and firework was released when tartarus was top one in gd everyone said that killbot ufo is the hardest part in any level created ever in the rated level of course so, I'm proud that I did this level. This is a masterpiece and this is definitely my new favorite extreme demon in the game. This is even better than IDOX, which is kinda crazy, because I got totally demolished by this level, but I still love this. Okay, so let's just count the attempts. 3654. Now I'm really curious if I've got... I guess I've got more attempts than on the uh, base cave, but I'm not sure, or may maybe not. 11,676 plus the last copy, and that's it. 2,718, no, that's less than base cave, dude. That's even less than base cave. Killbot took me 18,048 attempts, that's it. Cool. Oh, dude, I always wanted to do this level. It's It was so satisfying to play, this level is... And this is, by the way, this is the most consistent level I've ever played, dude. The first 40% is literally free. At the, like, after playing this for a while, because at the beginning, this is like silent. You are happy, you are happy after doing like any progress on the drop, you know? You are always happy, like, let's go, I did something on the drop. This is silent for me so far. And then, <laughs> it got a little bit boring, but I was just still having fun because I was doing like 40-50% so many times, like almost every attempt, dude. Oh, that was so crazy. I'm so happy that I did New Hardest, <laughs> finally. And that's, by the way, that's the last, the, that's the last extreme that I'm doing for the memory month, like the May memory month. Maybe I'll do one insane, that's it. Uh, I'm done with memory levels, thanks. Let's go, base cave. N fucking base cave, that's a killbot, what am I saying? GG's.